Some of the elements of, of an engaging and successful online course, I think, include a, a balance of different types of activities and interaction. Um, online instruction actually offers you a, a number of different options that you don't even necessarily have in a face-to-face -face classroom. It's connected to the instructor's passion about the topic, um, the degree to which they um, care about and support their students, and then the way that the classroom dynamic develops over the course of the semester in terms of students getting to know one another better, feeling more confident, sharing their views and their analysis in class, um, and really working together to support one another in the learning experience. At the beginning of the semester, it's really important for faculty to create a social presence, to post something on their wall, to think systematically about how they're gonna interact with students, how are they gonna provide feedback to students for the assignments that they submit throughout the semester. One of the most useful things I find is the ability to move activities like me delivering material to the students out of the real-time face-to-face interaction. I can start off by recording something, voiceover slides, and give them some material, and then we can use our synchronous time, whether that's face-to-face -face physically meeting in a classroom, or whether that's having a virtual seminar mediated by something like Zoom. Uh, we can use our time to do that, to discuss, to poke and prod, to think a little bit about different manifestations and different implications of positions and so on. Potentially for some students who are shy about talking in class at the beginning of the semester, the online platform may give them more confidence um, and therefore um, make them feel more integrated into the, the class earlier on in the semester, as well as give them the potential to have, um, for example, a higher participation grade because there are more diverse ways of evaluating participation. One of the things that I enjoy the most about teaching online is having the opportunity to work with students who are not physically in the same geographical space. Many of our students in virtual uh, classrooms will be dispersed around the globe. And I think the opportunity for each one of us to bring those perspectives and that situationality to classroom conversations really provides us with some very engaging conversations that allowed us to illuminate some different multiple perspectives that we may not have if we're all sitting around the same table in Washington, D.C. I'm really optimistic and I'm really happy with the kind of work that people are putting out and optimistic about the results. Um, it's most faculty at SIS for years have already been incorporating things like video that is uh, useful to supplement how the material in the class is conducted. They already have some very well-designed classroom activities, small group work, exercises. A lot of interactive teaching is already built into the way that we normally do things. Even folks who primarily lecture have lectures that are usually not just, I'm going to sit and beam information straight at you. They're much more of a discussion. It's much more I'm going to pose some things and we'll have a little conversation about it and I'll pose some more things. All of those kinds of interactive activities translate into an online format relatively easily because they're already engaging, they're already interactive. So faculty are not having to sort of invent new activities, they're simply having to learn some new tools for how to accomplish those same kinds of activities. And since SIS in general is a place that prizes small classes and interactive individualized instruction. Those are already things that we have, assets that, that are, are part of the way that we do business normally. Adding online to it is simply adding some new tools in the toolbox to allow us to do the kinds of things that we're already doing.